they or shouldn't they? Several states across the country are throwing around the idea of basing approval for public assistance on passing a drug test, which includes lawmakers here in the Buckeye State. Fox Toledo's Nicole Collier joins us live with how those changes could affect the state's youngest residents. Well, although Senate Bill 69 is just in the beginning stages, it's raising a lot of questions from people applying for benefits and those who are set to help administer them. If made into law, Senate Bill 69 would require parents applying for benefits through the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, or TANF, to pass a drug test in order to get help from the state. That program gives families who have a minor in the home a few hundred dollars a month to help pay for housing, transportation, food, and other necessities. Under the proposal, if an applicant fails the drug test, their benefits wouldn't be taken away completely, but they would be reduced. The goal is always to keep families intact, and if they don't have the financial resources, it could put some families at risk. Deb Ortiz Flores, director of Lucas County Job and Family Services, says the bill has her clients talking. When they've been asked, they would say, sure, I would be willing to take a test. I think that um, the people that come here are looking for assistance, and if this is one more hoop that they have to go through, then they're going to do what it takes to take care of their families. Ortiz Flores says although this bill is in its infancy, it's a good start at looking for ways to improve the system. Part of the discussion is um, the need to have people be accountable for anything that a tax dollar would pay for. Now, as that bill stands right now, it would be the person applying for help's responsibility to pay for the test, and if they pass it, they would be reimbursed. However, the bill doesn't state where that money would come from. Reporting tonight, Nicole Collier, Fox Toledo News.